Welcome back. It was a setback to the LGBTQ community as after a lengthy court battle, the Supreme Court's five-judge bench decided against marriage and adoption rights for same-sex couples in India. There were as many as 21 pleas in front of the court which were bunched together. It was a split 3-2 judgment where the majority deemed that civil union or adoption rights cannot be granted by the court to same-sex couples. These are some of the salient points of the majority judgment which will of course be effective. First up, that there is no constitutional or fundamental right to civil unions. It also has gone on to say that the court cannot make any changes to the Special Marriages Act to further gender neutral terms to be used. The court has also opined that no right uh, for adoption can be given to queer couples to adopt children jointly and that centre's high-powered committee will examine concerns of same-sex couples on other accounts which are rights that are born out of unions as well. The big question of course now is, now that the five-judge bunch of the Supreme Court has rejected this, is the ball in Parliament's court and is this an issue that the Indian government or Parliament will be willing to take on? Let's go across to our guest joining us. Niharika Karanjwala is lawyer and petitioner in this case. Syantika Majumdar and Nikita Nik Prakash are LGBTQ activists and couple. Shashank Shekharja is lawyer and petitioner. Let me go across to Nikita and Syantika and both of you can take the question one by one. Uh, your disappointments with this verdict, what do you think is the way forward for same-sex couples? Uh, so, obviously, we are devastated today. This was a major setback for us because uh, we are, personally, I'm angry, I'm disappointed because this is not just a setback for the LGBT community. This is a setback for India. Instead of taking a step forward is what we were hoping for, we have taken a step backwards. Though, uh, yes, the ball, like you said, is in uh, the parliament's uh, court as well and has been thrown back to the parliament's court after we had uh, placed a lot of hope uh, in the apex uh, judiciary body of our country hoping uh, that that the, they would see uh, the verity uh, of these claims and give us a favorable judgment in fact uh, if you see the beginning of the uh, proceedings as well uh, today uh, there were a lot of favorable comments from chief justice of india as well as the uh, justice call hmm. which were uh, indicating or hinting towards uh, at the very least uh, civil union if not uh, changes to the special marriage act although that was completely out of the question uh, okay. deemed out of the question but there was still some hope uh, but uh, now uh, it has completely been taken uh, out of the court's hand and given to the parliament and that is a uh, very uh, scary for us because mm. uh, we have not seen any movement from the parliament or from the um, government as we know uh, currently okay. in favor of the LGBT community so far. We have not so seen you answered both of government. my questions. Can I ask your partner a different question then? Uh, what do you make of the arguments that have been given in court and what the judgment then entails? That you know it is not possible to change the Special Marriages Act and also that marriage is not a fundamental right and while there is the freedom to choose your partner, there is no uh, bounding, there is nothing binding on the government or the state to recognize that union. Your thoughts on that argument or that judgment? So the, the biggest and uh, most sad part about this is uh, everybody else is getting the choice to get married to their uh, respective partners but mm. we are missing out on that as mm. Indian citizens while we are paying taxes, we are doing all the other things, uh, then why should we miss out on this basic right? And of course, it is very important for us because it comes with uh, so many perks. So there are rights uh, which you get with uh, just the stamp of marriage, right? Uh, we can uh, get insurance for each other. We can buy pop property together. These are the struggles that we are going through. And what really hurts is uh, the nation is not understanding you. The law system is not understanding you. There are not enough people talking about it, uh, but we are really affected by this. Hmm. Yeah, and uh, you know, uh, these points were brought up by the Chief Justice himself. Uh, when he did allude at a uh, civil union, he did mention uh, things like adoption as well. He did mention in favor uh, of, uh, of having a structure in place, a union uh, where uh, 
adoption rights are given irrespective uh, of the marital status okay. of a couple so these were put forth igniting some hope in us but in the end it was snuffed out